What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 10. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an amazing team to show off for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Power Herb Exernius team alongside with Mystic Water Urshifu. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. We are so close to 10k subscribers. Cannot wait to hit that milestone. But starting off on this team, we have Volcarona in that top left corner. Flame Body as its ability. Citrus Berry as its item. Overheat, Struggle Bug, both for our stab moves. Rage Powder to protect allied Pokemon and protect as our final move. Right next to him on that right side, we have Exernius, a Pokemon that I want to show off ever since Series 10 has been released, and we finally got our hands on a team, so we're going to be able to rock out and try to get some wins with this guy. Fairy Aurora as its ability, Power Herb as its item, so we can use his famous move, Geomancy, in one turn. Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam, both for Sab, and Protect as our final move. Middle left is going to be Incineroar. Pokemon, again, you can bring on any single team. Any single team Incineroar rocks out on, and he's so strong all around. Intimidate as his ability, Safety Goggles as item, Fake Out for flinches, Flare Blitz for stab, Taunt for taunting support mods, and Parting Shot for pivoting and attack drops on opposing Pokemon. Right next to him, again, another Pokemon that can be used anywhere. Rollaboom, both these starters are amazing, they're just so strong all around. Rollaboom has that awesome move set of Fake Out, Grassy Glide, Wood Hammer, and U-Turn for pivot. Grassy Surge is his ability and that Assault Vest so we can soak up some special attacking shots. Bottom left, we have the one and only Water Urshifu over here, and I love using Water Urshifu because I'm so used to using the Dark Urshifu, I feel like using this one's just a little bit off meta, just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit different from what everybody else uses. Unseen Fist so we can hit through Protects, Mystic Water so our water moves do more damage, we have Surgeon Strikes for Stab, Close Combat for Stab, Aqua Jet for First Turn Priority and Stab, and Detect as our Protect move. Final Pokemon on this team is going to be Regilecki. This little bugger has been dominating the meta ever since it came into the game. It's fast, it hits hard, and it can speed control any single battle. We have Thunderbolt for stab, E-Web for speed control, Bolt switch to pivot out, and protect as our final move. Guys, you want to try out the team for yourself? You guys already know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that Series 10 rank ladder and try to get some wins with this Xerneas team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen, hopping into our first battle, and look what we have here. Going up against the Zacian team, who would have guessed it? I already know that most of these battles are going to be jam-packed going up against Zacian teams, but hopefully we can grab ourselves a win in battle number one. Um, who should I lead? I kind of want to lead Xerneas and maybe try to get off a of Geomance, but at the same time, I don't think that's the play. It could be the play, but then it couldn't be the play, so we'll see what we want to do here. I could actually bring in my Incineroar for an attack drop and a fake out right off the rip. I'm kind of thinking of doing that, unless you read Tesserine, because then that, uh, that protects me from there. But then we still have the Fire Band, so definitely want to lead in Cinemore. I think that could be a big play all around. Might end up leading the Urshfu here as well. Urshfu could be really good, but at the same time, if he leads that Zacian, he could have a fairy move and rock out up against me. So, hmm. What do I want to go into here? Could go Xerneas, in case I could fake out and just get a Geomance off. I'm kind of with that. Let's go Incineroar and Xerneas in front slot. Let's go Urshfu in that back end. And then final Pokemon is going to probably be Rillaboom. Rillaboom or Regilecki? What I think would be better here. I'm thinking Rillaboom all around could be a little bit better in this battle. Let's bring Rillaboom. Let's lock that one in and try to get ourselves our first win in battle number one. But this guy didn't even pick his team yet. He did not pick his team, so he's probably struggling, trying to think of what I'm going to go with. He has three seconds left, and there he goes. He finally picks the team, and he can get rocking out. But let me know in the comment section down below, for question of the day, what are your top three favorite legendaries in Pokemon ever? Your favorite legendary Pokemon ever. That's certain we're using Xerneas, and he's definitely in my top three for me. For me personally, Xerneas is definitely top three for me. I'm going to say Xerneas for me. Kyogre. I want to throw Groudon up there too, but at the same time, Rayquaza is pretty cool though. But definitely Xerneas is in there. Let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. But he ends up going Regilecki and, uh, and Zacian. So I'm thinking of just faking out Zacian. And, uh, maybe setting up a Geomance. What do I think the play is here? He might just go for speed drops. Could be his play. So I could just, like, not go for a fake out. You know, a fake out could be really good for us. Who would I who would I want to fake out? Zacian? Zacian still packs a punch, so we're gonna go after Zacian. I'm gonna try to set up a Geomance here. And then maybe just protect and go for a parting shot next turn. We'll see. Because there is no Dynamax, so protect, I think, just got a silent buff as well. 
Protect is really good because now you don't have to worry about somebody hitting through Protect and doing all that good stuff. But let's just see how this one plays out. We're definitely faking him out. We're definitely getting after him. We have that nice, lovely attack drop. We read this Zassian coming out here as a lead, and he's going to end up withdrawing this Zassian. So imagine if we would have faked out on the Regilecki. That could have been a big turn for us. That could have been a big turn for us. I know it was a nice little swap, considering the fake out wouldn't have worked because Queenly Majesty is going to come through. But even better, we're going to be able to get off a of Geomance here and rock out from there. So I'm digging this turn. I really am digging this turn. I'm with this all day. I'm with this all day. I'm thinking we might be able to outspeed Regilecki. We shall see. We are absorbing power. So I'm going to Parting Shot onto the uh, onto this uh, Test Marine. Actually, I could just shop with Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz could be the play. Mm, what, do, what do I want to do here? I think I might just Flare Blitz to drop a Gleam. I'm thinking a Gleam should be able to take out Regilecki, no problem, right? Right? I'm thinking Gleam should be able to do that dirty, right? Because he's lightweight. I think Gleam could do it. I think Gleam could take that out. Let's go into the Flare Blitz and go for Gleam. See if we can pick up a double kill here. Because we're plus two on special attack right now. And we're plus one on speed. So we might not be able to outspeed Regilecki. We shall see. I hope we can. But if not, he's going to go for another E-Web. And that'll leave us at even. Which I can I can get down with. I can get down with being even on the speed board for Xerneas. Then eventually just parting shot or pivoting out with our uh, with our Incineroar. To have him in the back end. So we can use that up against Zassian later. Then he's going to end up protecting with Yo. I'm totally cool with that turn. I really am totally fine with that turn, considering we're gleaming. We're going to be able to get off some damage onto the uh, Tesserine, and then uh, drop a Flare Blitz and take that thing out, right? We should be able to take it out, right? Nope, he's going to end up U-turn. He's going to U-turn from there, and whatever he hops into is going to take a mean Flare Blitz. So it could be Zassian, and if it is, I I'm fine with that, because it will be super effective. Maybe we can get off a burn onto it. Let's see who he goes out into. Now, imagine if we were parting shot him. That could have been the play, and I was totally thinking about doing it. Let's see who he rolls out with. He's going to roll out with Incineroar. Okay, that's totally fine. It's a smart little play by him. Dang, that would have been a lovely little parting shot. That would have been a lovely parting shot. Yo, know, I'm totally cool with this. Well, but it's going to roll through here. And we're going to get after you and do a little bit of damage. Just a teeny bit of damage. Just a teeny bit. We get some recoil off, and I'm just going to parting shot from here. It's a parting shot, and I'm just going to go for, uh, I guess, a Moonblast now. Let's go for a Moonblast over onto the Regilecki. Play this one slow. I don't see any KOs really happening, except for maybe on the Incineroar if he E webs and he goes into like a Darkest Lariat. But Thunderbolt is going to be able to roll through here and should be able to eat that up Incineroar, right? Yep, beautiful. Moonblast flies through. And can we pick up the KO here? I'm thinking we can unless he Sash. Let's see. Yep, he Sash. Of course he Sash. Of course. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? But if I can pardon shot, that means I get first turn priority and that could be huge. He's going to end up parting shotting on to me. And yo, I love that. I love that he outspeeds there. I love that he outspeeds there. Because hopefully he goes into Zacian. Or either Pokemon he goes into. That's a huge part and shot on me. Because that's basically a waste of a turn. Because he's going to get that attack drop on me. But I'm just going to switch out. And he goes into Zacian. That is beautiful for us. That is beautiful for us. As he gets an attack boost. We're going to drop it with a parting shot. And now we have Intimidate in the back end. Loving it. Gotta love it. You gotta love it. Right? We gotta love it. So there's that. Okay, so cool. So we get that poking around here. We could go into Urshifu now, or I'd rather go into you. Who should I go into? I'm actually going to go into Urshifu because we can hit through Protects. So we can guarantee an easy KO onto the uh, onto that Regilecki. I'm going to bring you out here. And we're going to get rocking with you. I can just go into a free Aqua Jet. Hit through that Protect and be fine with that. So we're going to go you. And then I could just Moonblast. Or I'm thinking of just protecting my... Uh, my Xerneas here. And maybe swapping him out soon. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. Unless he swaps the what's going on. That would, oh, that would be power move. Thinking I have Aqua Jet. He might swap the Zacian into Serene and then get off a T-Bolt. That would be power move. Let's see his play. Let's see if he's going to read that. That would be crazy power move. He does do it. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Yo, what a play. What a power move there. What an absolute power move. We go for the protect. Dude, this is such a good battle. This is such a good battle. He gets that swap on me again. e is going to be able to fly through here. We're protected. And that's going to be able to do some big damage on me. Not like one bit. 
I don't like one bit. Not one bit. So there's that speed drop. We get some speed control here. And now I guess I'll go for a gleam. And maybe a surge of strikes. Probably close combat would be better for us. Let's go close combat. Let's go for the gleam. Let's rock it. Let's do it. Here's a chance here. We still have Incineroar in the back. Which I really like. And we still have Rillaboom which is pretty decent as well. And what a battle to get this video started. What a battle. So Series 10 giving us some good battles right now. We're giving us some good battles. This guy's just making some mean hard reads on us. Mean reads on us with that Tesserine. That thing is just, yeah, it has two Queenly Majesties used on it. Stopped a Fake Out and an Aqua Jet, which was just enormous. But let's see if we can get off this Gleam. Let's see how this one rocks out with the rest. He protects. That's totally fine. We're doubling down into this, uh, into this Serene right here. Hopefully, uh, we can pick up a KO here. I don't think we can. But that would be really nice if we can. Nope, we do not. And we end up going with close combat. And he's going to U-turn out. So I'm digging that. I think he's going to go into Incineroar, which we're close combating into. So I really dig that turn. I really do dig that turn. Because now I can Aqua Jump. Now I can Aqua Jump. Let's see who he's going to rock out into. He's going to go back in his Assian. And do we think he's going to swap? Like, do we think he's going to swap again? And I wouldn't mind if he does swap. So I might just go for that, uh... I might just go for the Aqua Jet. I think I might just go for the Aqua Jet. Just because the sheer fact is we can go for an Aqua Jet here. And pose that threat here. And get off maybe a Moonblast or a Dazzle Just in case. I could protect. Hmm. I said we Gleam just in case. Let me Gleam just in case that does happen. Let's see what he does. Gotta yeah, go for a swap. Go for the swap this time. This time, I don't think he's going to do it. Which I'm fine with, because then we get off that Aqua Jet, we pick up a KO. And then if he KOs my Xerneas, then we just get out Incineroar. And we start getting an attack drop onto that uh, Zassian slot. This is a really good battle. This is a really good battle right now. He's plus one, dude. I hate how he gets plus one every time he comes into battle. So there goes the withdrawal. Hey, yo. You done? You done playing around with me? You done? You done playing games with me? Done playing games with me. He goes for a swap. That's totally fine by me. Thunderbolt should be able to come out here. Pick up the KO, which I'm totally fine with. That's totally fine with me. And now we gleam. We pick up a double KO. And we should be sitting fine. We should be sitting fine. So I'll take that death for the Urshfu for a double KO all day. Any day of the week. Because now he has to force out his Zacian. He has to force out his Incineroar. And I can get a double attack drop on both of With my Incineroar coming out here. Let's go Incineroar. Make sure I get that out. And we can rock out from there. And Xerneas should be fastest as it is, uh, what is it? It's minus, or it's plus one on speed. It's plus one on speed. So I can see fake out for fake outs coming out here. And I might just uh, end up protecting my Xerneas. Right? Would protecting Xerneas be the player? And just faking out Incineroar? Hmm. What should I fake out this Ascian? I could fake out the Zacian, but I think Zacian is going to come into my, uh, my Xerneas. So I'm just going to fake out onto hmm, you and then just, uh, rock protect. Then just rock a lovely little protect. A lovely protect. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. Dude, this is coming out to the wire. It is coming down to the wire. Let's see his play. Let's see his play. Let's see what this dude has. Let's see what he has to offer. And I probably should have... Uh, the play last turn should have probably been detect onto my uh, Urshifu. And then rock out with Dazzle Gleam. That probably was 100% play, but it's all good. It seems like it worked out in our favor for a 2 for 1 there. Fake out comes out on you. Let's see if Zassian comes across here. Yep, Behemoth Blade flies through. And we get off a little bit of damage and we block both turns. Alright, so I dig that. I dig that a lot. Again, I think we have speed all day. Especially with uh, Zacian. We're up against Zacian. So I'm going to drop a Moonblast onto you. See if we can pick up a KO there. Right? My Xerneas should be faster than everybody. I hope so. I sure hope so. We are plus one. But you never know with Zacian. He's, he's a fast Pokemon that hits really, really hard. So we got to watch out for him. Let's see this. Let's see this, yo. This is a long battle for our first one. 
But you guys know I love long battles. I love playing a match like this. Like, this is what makes me love playing online battles in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Is a nice battle like this. Because it makes you think, it really, it's, it's kind of like a chess match. Like, or checkers match, whatever you want to call it. Like, you have to think so hard and figure things out up against your opponent. And there goes my Moonblast with that big KO. We get a crit. I think we were taken out regardless. We are plus two there. Big stab damage rolling into there. And uh, Substitute is going to fly through, which, yo, I'm cool with. I'm totally cool with that. Because the Splitter Blitz will take that out. And I don't think we take any recoil damage to it. I don't think we take any recoil damage, right? Because we do, we deal no damage. So new, no recoil damage should be in effect. His sub fades. We have speed with Xerneas. We have our... Oh, we do take a little bit of recoil damage. Right, that's still fine. But we still have our instant war. So we can go for a Flare Blitz here. And I can totally drop just a heavy Moon Blast. And if not, we have a real boom in that back end with the Grassy Glide, the Surge, and all that good stuff. And he cancels battle, and we pick up a huge win in battle number one. Battle number two coming at you guys, going up against a Kyogre team. And we all know how strong Kyogre is in this game. If you guys haven't checked out my Kyogre video, definitely go check it out. He is super strong in this game. He really is. He's pretty much broken, in my opinion. But we're going to try to rock out here, get ourselves a win, and go back to back. Uh, who do I think he's going to lead? I can see the Tornadus and Kyogre lead definitely coming out here. So I definitely want to pose a big threat with Regilecki. So we're going to end up leading him. Uh, Regilecki does wonders here. So we're going to go him. And then next Pokemon could be Urshifu. Urshifu's not bad. Hmm. Who do I want to go here? The definitely Regilecki. Uh, say he leads Regilecki. Then how do we play that one? We could go in with a fake out. Fake out could be nice. Fake out could be lovely. We actually could go Rillaboom. Because doesn't Rillaboom have fake out on him? He does. I, I'm liking Rillaboom. So I'm going to end up leading Rillaboom here. Being able to do that. And then next Pokemon could be Xerneas. I could actually lead the Xerneas. Not bad. But I'm going to actually bring him in the back end. And then final spot could be... Let's go Urshifu. If he sets rain, we can have first turn priority with those moves. And rock out from there. So I'm digging that. Let's get after this battle. And try to get ourselves a win in battle number two. But I'm always so scared when I go up against either, like, Groudon or Kyogre team. Because, like, they, they are such a threat. They're such a threat. They're so big. Same thing with Shadow Rider and uh, Ice Rider Calyrex. They're just so big. I got to get my hands on the team for them. So make sure you guys stay tuned for videos on them as well. But he's going to end up leading the Reggie Steel and the Incineroar. Okay, I'm cool with that. We're going to have Real Boom and Reg Lucky. So we do have Fake Out, Raider Rock. We do have our, our Web. And I think this thing is going to try to set up. Which is kind of scary. I'm not even going to lie. I think this Reggie still can set up really well here. I think he can. So we might want to U-turn out. We might want to U-turn out here. Or I can just Thunderbolt onto him. And start trying to deal damage to him. And who do I want to fake out? Let's fake out this Incineroar. Who lovely little fake out onto Incineroar. And just try to get off as much amount of damage as we can on this Reggie deal. Because I don't want him setting up Iron Defenses and just trying to get after me that way. So if I can have my big old special attacker with Regilecki come out here and start dealing some damage, that can be huge for us. There's a nice little fake out. We'll start off with a flinch on the battle, and a Thunderbolt is going to come through here. Show me a Paralyze as well. Show me a nice lovely para. Give it to me. Nope, there's the Iron Defense. And like I said, he's going to try to set up. He's trying to get. He's going to try to get as bulky as he possibly can. And he might protect here as well. So I think I might end up swapping my Rillaboom on the spot here. Because I feel like a Flare Blitz is going to come through. So there's his leftovers. So we're just going to drop a nice little Thunderbolt onto him. And just start trying to tee off on him. Let's go Thunderbolt and go into you. And then I could just U-turn instead of hard swapping. Like, what's the point of hard swapping when I have a U-turn? And I think and I think Rillaboom goes out speed, so. We're going to go into a U-turn. Try to get off a little bit of damage. A little bit of damage is better than nothing. And we're going to pivot into probably our uh, our Urshifu. Because I can see a big old Flare Blitz coming in from the Incineroar. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. Hmm. Reggie Steel over here. Does not protect. So we're going to be able, able to get off another Thunderbolt here. And we get a power, dude. That's a huge power. That's huge power. U-turn comes out here. And I think he's going to go for a body press into my Regilecki, which we are Sash. And then I can just roll out with uh, Urshifu here. And if he... Say he, what's it called? Say he brings me down to the sash here. Uh, we can always uh, protect the Regilecki -like next turn. And be fine here. And a Larry is going to come through here. And is he doubling up into my uh, Regilecki -like slot? Let's see. He is going to double down to my Regilecki -like slot, which is tough news for us. That is real tough news for us. And he's gonna, okay, he's going to body press into you. 
which I'm totally cool with that turn because now I can Thunderbolt. I can go for a uh, Surgeon Strikes and potentially pick up a double KO, right? Unless he protects. I think this thing is going to get a lot of HP back. He might end up being able to eat up another T Bolt. Let's just see. I definitely want to drop another Surgeon. Oh, I definitely want to drop a Surgeon Strikes into that instant of slot. See what other Pokemon he has. He could have Kyogre. But I don't, I don't think he's going to want to swap into that. I really don't see that happen. So let's go Surgeon Strikes. Let's go another T Bolt. Hopefully we can pick up the KO onto the Registeel. But I can definitely see it protecting. But I'm cool with it protecting. I really am. Let's see this thing's turn. Let's see what he does. I think he's holding out to have that uh, Kyogre in the back end. So I, I might want to get my Reg Lake beat out of here. Might want to pip it out on him. Let's see. Thunderbolt is going to come through here. Fingers crossed for the KO. Can we get it? We do. Let's go. Big KO there. We end up getting a crit. I think it was going to be really, really close without the crit. But certain strikes should be able to come out here and pick up a double KO easily. And we should be thriving here because then we can see his last two Pokemon. And if it is Kyogre, we outspeed it 100%. And I think I think that's an easy KO, right? Yep. Easy KO. Wrap it up. Get him out of my face. He has a berry. God dang it. Never mind. No KO for us. No KO for us. That is whack. His berry triggers here. Come on, man. Very clutching up for him. That's tough news. So he's going to end up getting off a shot. And I think he's going to pick up the KO on Regilecki, which is so tough. That is so tough. That's the rough news. Okay, I do have Rillaboom in the back, which is still big. And I wish I could check how many turns left in the Surge. Because I think it's three, right? Because he we went for a Fake Out and then he we went for a Double Darkest Lair. So I think we have uh, two turns left. My fault. So we're going to go Rillaboom here. What if I go Xerneas? I can Aqua Jet and pick up the free KO. What do I want to do here? I'm still gonna go you just for the fake out chance. And if he goes Kyogre, then I have I can pose a threat onto it. If we go there. See how he plays out from here. He's gonna end up throwing into Tornado. So I'm just gonna fake that thing out. Try to stop a tailwind. We're gonna fake you out, and I am just gonna go for an Aqua Jet. So we're gonna finish off you, and we're gonna get a nice little fake out onto him as well. Man, I would love that I I knew I should have brought out Xerneas. I knew I should have brought out Xerneas. It's just, it's just a play. Because then he can tailwind next turn and just outspeed my Pokemon. But at the same time, a grassy guy could do big damage. And I can see him protecting. But let's just see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. This one's going to be a really good battle. Dude, these battles have been so good in today's video. Fake out drops. Bang, there's a flinch. Aqua just going to be able to roll through here. And pick up the KO onto the Incineroar. That's huge for us. That's huge for us. Get him out of my face. Get him out of here. Now just imagine if the Kyogre was out there. Because it has to be Kyogre in that final spot, right? There's no way you are rocking this team without bringing Kyogre. Like, every time I'm using a Kyogre team, he's in my battles, like, every single game. 99% of the game is in there. So, I can definitely see him pulling him out here as his final Pokemon. Which it is, it's going to be the Kyogre. Okay. So, Drizzle is going to come out here, which means my moves are going to do more damage. My water moves are going to do more damage. But he has Hurricane, which lands 100% of the time. So here's my problem. My problem is going to be if that Kyogre protects. So let's see how many turns are left in the terrain. There's one. So I can 100% see him protecting here. But I feel like I still have to pose that threat. And I feel like I still have to go for an Aqua Jet just in case he goes for a Hurricane. But who is going to be faster? That's the real question. Let's see this thing's speed. It's going to be that Tornado, so I think I have to go for an Aqua Jet here. Which I am going to do. I'm going to go for the Aqua Jet just in case he goes for that Hurricane. I'm going to glide here. So, yep, there's Protect. There's Protect. But can this Aqua Jet take out? Because I think he's going to Hurricane. Let's see if this Aqua Jet can pick up the KO here for us. Does not. Not even close. Glide comes through, gets blocked. And the Hurricane is going to be able to pick up the KO onto us. And he's going to drop an Icy Wind. He's going to drop an Icy Wind, which slows us down. And I think he's going to drop an Ice Beam onto us. Mm. Mm. Dang, I could have sworn he was going to go for that. I could have doubled down. I could have went for a Surge of Strikes and just picked up the easy KO. Grass disappears from Battlefield. Dang it, man. Alright, so I can see a Tailwind popping out here. Let's go for uh, go for the Glide or Woodhammer. Woodhammer's probably your best bet here. If we can land it, that's big damage. Let's go Woodhammer. 
That could also detect. But I think we gotta go for certain strikes. I think we have to pick up a KO on one of these guys here. Let's see how this one plays out here. Here, here goes Tailwind. I don't think he water spouts. I think he ice beams or something along those lines. He goes for the water spout. My Roboom should be able to eat that up, right? Yep, Roboom eats up. Gotta love it. Gotta love it there. Gotta love it. So Woodhammer should be able to come in here, and I think it should be able to pick up the KO, right? Or come pretty dang close to it. Let's see. Yep, get him out my face, Kyogre. Get him out of here. So good call for us to bring in Roboom there. We are going to take a lot of recoil damage, but we still have one Pokemon in the back, and that is going to be my one and only main man Xerneas right here. Main man Zern. Okay. So do I Geomance here? I could totally just Geomance, which might be play. I think it's going to honestly be play. I think it honestly is going to be play. I, I don't want to take no recoil damage, and I'm just going to go for Geomance. Let's rock it. Let's do it. We need that attack buff. We need that attack buff here. We're going to Geomance. Play this one slow, and he just cancels battle, and we go back to back 2 0 for today's video. Let's get that perfect record for you guys. We're hopping into our third and final battle, going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team. He also has My Shell, Entei, Nihilego, Whimscott for Tailwind, and Tapu Lele for that Psychic Surge. So I got to watch out for the Psychic Surge for my Fake Out reasons, because I have two Pokemon with Fake Out. Um, I kind of want to lead the Xerneas and maybe Volcarona. Do I do that? There we go, Xerneas and Volcarona. And rock out from there, try to get off a of Geomance. I'm digging it. He could go Astral Barrage. Which could be tough for us, but I'm still going to lead them too. And try to get off that combo. Bring Urshfu in that back end. And actually, hmm. I might want to withdraw all you guys. I might want to just lead the Regilecki and try to get Speed Control. Is that what Jeans want to do? Is that what I want to do? Um, I don't know what I want to do. I definitely want to show off Volcarona. But, you know, let's go Volcarona. Let's go to Xer No, we, we want this. Let's go here. I want to go here, Volcarona, Xerneas, and I want to go Urshku. That's my team. That's how I want to rock it. Let's get after it. Let's do this. Considering we're already 2-0, we got to show off this team to its fullest potential. So, I don't really care if we win or lose in this third and final battle. I just want to show off Pokemon that we haven't shown off yet. So, we have the Volcarona as the lead. Maybe I can get off, like, Heat Wave, something along those lines. Especially up against a Whimscott. But I think he is going to end up leading the Whimscott, and the reason I did not want to go into Xerneas is he could lead Shadow Rider Calyrex, and that could also do me dirty. But he ends up going Nihilego with Whimscott, so I can definitely see a... Hmm, I could protect the Regilecki. I can see a Tailwind coming out into a Meteor Beam, which could be scary. With the, which I don't think protecting the Regilecki is really the play. I think E-Web might be the play. Slow down and take off Sash. And I could just overheat. Or I could just protect you. I could drop an overheat. I could drop an overheat. But I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna go for the overheat. I think I'm gonna go for the overheat. I'm looking for the big damage here. We're gonna heat up here and just try to get rid of this one, Scott, because I think he's gonna come after me with that meteor beam. Which that's I think I should have protected it, but it's all good. The hell Lego ends up going for protect yo. I'm with it. I'm with this turn all day. I'm with this turn all day. He's gonna go for a tailwind. I'm with this turn all day. So we get rid of Wimscott. Wimscott just legit gets off the tailwind, which is totally fine. And now I can start like rage powdering. And just start having speed control. So we end up taking off Sash if he did have it, which I think it maybe have had it. We'll see. We shall see. I thought he's gonna go for a tailwind into a uh, meteor beam. Overheat pops out. Wimscott, get out my game. Get him out of here. Get this fool out my game. But we end up getting the drops on the special attack. Which I'm fine with. Because like I said, I can just Rage Powder now. I can just Powder of the Rage. So we have some Nihilego chilling there in a Tailwind. In a Tailwind. And a Calyrex is going to come out here. In a Tailwind. We could probably just Astral Barrage. So I am just going to keep trying to go for E-Webs for Speed Control. And I think I'm just going to go for a Rage Powder here. Let's go for E-Web for Speed Control. And I guess we'll just Rage Powder, right? I could go for a Struggle Bug, but I think Rage Powder is going to be the best bet. Just to try to protect that Regilecki, because I would rather have that Regilecki in here trying to get some speed control for the team. Because we definitely need it. We definitely need it. So let's see how this one plays out here. Rage Powder comes through here, and I think he's just going to Meteor Beam. I think he's going to Meteor Beam into the Volcarona slot. Let's see. Nope, just straight Astro Barrage. Can you eat that out, Volcarona? I know it hits both, but hopefully Volcarona can eat. Yep, Volcarona ends up eating. Our Sash does come out here, so we are definitely going to get off an E-Web. Should be lovely. 
And he's just gonna power jump. It's power jump, just it's just one hitting, right? Yep. It is. Okay, so cool. So our focus ash pops. I'm with that turn all day. And we are able to get off an E-Web. Which could be nice for us, because potentially Regilecki can also be next turn now. And get off another E-Web. I'm with it all day. E-Web flies through. Yoink. Bang. They're nice. Noise, noise, noise. Noise, noise, noise. So there's that. Um, hmm. I'm going to Urshifu here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go on Urshifu, and I might detect this first turn. I might just protect this lovely little first turn here. Protect with him, and then just try to get off another E-Web. Let me my play. E-Web. Bang. Detect. Bang. Let's run it. Let's run it. I think Regilecki might be able to outspeed. Let's see. He's very fast. He's very fast. Even though they're plus one, he is still super fast. But let's see. Make it happen, Regilecki. Make it happen. Look at him bouncing. He just lands on the ground just a little bounce. <laughs> His legs, like, bend like this much, and he just bounces up. It cracks you up. Nope. He outspeeds me. That's a little tough news. Should have went for the Aqua Jet. Went after there. But Regilecki's going to go down here. Um, What's my play here? What is my play? Because I can't be like, oh, let's Dynamax. I can't beg. We still have our Dynamax. Let's rock out from there. But speed advantage is going to take it for us. We should have brought out our fake out user. We should have brought a fake out user because that could have been huge for us. We could have picked up the easy KO. We would have brought our fake out user. It would have been GG's. There, we're going to end up going into Xerneas and see what we can do from here. We cannot go into that Geomance. We cannot do that. I think best bet would probably be like. Moonblasting to take out the Calyrex and Surging Strike to take out the Heligo. That might be our best bet. If both these moves connect, they definitely should pick up the KO. Let's see. He's going to end up withdrawing the Heligo and going into who? Tapu Lele's going to end up getting in here. Maybe you think I thought I was going for an Aqua Jet? I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that turn. So let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. Battlefield gets weird and expanding. Fo wow, what a play. Him props, all the props in the world, all the props in the world for that one. Yo, GG's man, give him the claps round for that one. He ends up getting a critical hit on my Xerneas, gets that Tapu Lele in for a second surge. So, expanded forces more damage and double hits, and he ends up dumping on us in that third and final battle. Amazing set of battles for today's video. Ended up picking up that winning record for you guys, going two and one, and got to show off every single Pokemon on this team to its fullest potential. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.